Building the center dampener on the X1225 is pretty simple, but I'm gonna explain how I do it and which steps of the build that you need to pay attention to. So first of all, I've already done this step, but you need to install these E-clips onto the shock shaft to hold the piston on and make sure that when you put the piston on here, that E-clip doesn't cover the little hole in the piston. Very important. Um, pay attention to the direction of the shock shaft. The shorter end goes towards the top of the of the center dampener. For the bottom we have a o-ring. I usually soak this in oil. This 450 oil is the same type of oil that's supplied with the kit. Put this o-ring in here. The little plastic um, seal or bushing goes in there. The bottom seal. Tighten this up. Then what I do is put a shock shaft in. So the longer part of the shock shaft towards the bottom of the shock. Put this all the way down and fill it up with oil. It should be not all the way to the top, but basically to where the shark body gets a bit wider. You need oil at least to that part of the shark body. Push the piston up and down a few times on the shark shaft to relieve any air bubbles. I'm gonna put this aside for a moment and then we have the top seal or the top bushing it has this little o-ring on it. You can coat these o-rings in oil as well. The same oil that you use to fill the shock. Let's put this on here. And then the ball studs obviously you need to install in the end and this is the bottom ball cap. When that is done you take the shock, you put on the lower bushing this o-ring goes into the top cap and then what I do is with the shock shaft halfway in, just put all of this together like this. Get a piece of towel to clean this. Make sure it's treading in straight. This is a big help, it's a multi-tool from Hoodie. You can use this to hold the shock body so that you don't scratch it in any way. Then I just tighten this like this. It needs to be pretty tight. So that it's completely closed. Get rid of all the excess oil. We keep tightening it. Some more excess oil comes out. That's as much as, much as it goes and it's fully built as you can see. There's no rebound in the shock. There's no air. And uh, the movement of the piston is very smooth inside. It means we have a successful shark build. The last step that you need to do is you need to put this lower ball cup 
onto the shock shaft with the um, aluminum piece and set screw. And I want to make sure everything's moving freely here. And then you have a smooth shock movement. Make sure that you have these ball studs moving freely in the plastic. And when that's all done, I'm just going to pop it onto the car. I usually push this on here with my hands in the back. And we screw it onto the front. That's how quick and easy it is to uh, build and rebuild the shock or the center dampener for the X.